everything from uh, early exploration to modern exploration, something about the habitats in the deep sea, for example deep sea vents or, or the seabed of the mud, uh, and a lot about the weird and wonderful creatures that you find in the deep sea, from uh, fish with big, big sort of bulging eyes to teeth that are so big they stick outside their mouth, um, so all the strange and weird creatures down there. Um, the ones we have on display are actually radiolarian, so they're the spiny ones, and they actually can be in real life um, less than a millimetre in size. So the Blaschkas actually worked from uh, flat images. They corresponded with scientists such as Ernest Haeckel, um, Philip Henry Goss, who were the scientists of their day studying these particular animals, and they used the plates or the illustrations to make their models. And the Blaschkas did try to keep certain animals in aquaria. They weren't very successful but um, what they did manage to do in the in the time of keeping some of those animals is produce their own illustrations what they work from and the scientific ones I mean, the Blaschkas um, improved their technique throughout their lives. I mean, they made sea anemones, first of all, then jellyfish, and then the radiolarians. But it also is um, bringing out science to members of the public in, in a different form, in a different media, and ha perhaps engage them in that process too, and become scientists and taxonomists. That's the ultimate game. <laughs> In the 1970s, uh, scientists who were working in submersibles in the ocean discovered these, these whale falls on the seabed. And at first they said, what's a dinosaur doing on the seabed floor? But it isn't. It's a, what happens is when a whale dies, its carcass sinks to the ocean bed. And then big scavengers come and rip it, rip the flesh off. Smaller scavengers come along and eat little bits. And before long, they've stripped the, the, the bones bare. But that's, that's not when it, where it ends. And in fact, even more recently, scientists have discovered bacteria and tiny worms called Osidax worms that will live off the oil in the bones for up to 50 years. So, so for example, we've mocked up a sort of a whale skeleton as if it's sort of, you know, 30, 40 years into the future with, with uh, imagining that, that worms have been eating away at this.